Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a dentist website. The platform that we will be using is Wix Website Builder. With Wix, you'll be able to get started for completely free. It is also beginner friendly and easy to use. All you'll need to create your account is simply your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. Then, once you have created your account, you're going to tap on Create New Site. Then from there, you're going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you're going to tap on Set Up Without AI. After selecting Set Up Without AI, from here on the search bar, I want you to type in Dentist real quick. Or if you would like to use Dental Clinic, you can also do that. But we'll select dentist then tap on next after doing that you can see that wix is now preparing our dashboard once our dashboard has been prepared i will be showing you how to add different services also how to add your business name and how to set up the payment methods that you will be offering your clients so you're going to tap right where you see business name and you could enter your business name right there then you can add your business address, tap on next. After selecting next, you can set up the working hours. So let's say for example, five days per week and we'll be opening shop from 9 a.m. So we'll select 9 a.m. and we'll be starting, uh, we'll be closing at 5 p.m. So let me select 9 a.m. real quick. Then we'll tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can see some suggested services that Wix has provided us with. You can tap on the ones that are related to the services that you would like to offer. You can simply tap on the box to select them. And you can also tap on create new service. If you would like to create a new service, you could add the service name, then tap on save. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next once more. From here, you'll be able to add your staff member's name and email address, then tap on next again. And if you're planning to accept payments online, you're going to tap on that. Will you be accepting payments in person? You can tap on that also, then tap on next. Then from here, you're going to tap on continue to dashboard. After selecting continue to dashboard, I will be showing you how to further edit the services, meaning how to set up the different prices that you would like to offer for the services and also how to set up the payment method. So you are going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on booking services. Then from here in the top right hand corner, you will see the option to add a new service. You could tap there to add new services. Or you can scroll down and you can see the services that we have added earlier. Now to edit one, you can simply tap on edit. Then from here, you'll be redirected to that particular service page. You can change the service name if you want. You can also change the image by tapping on the X to remove the image. Then upload in your own image. You can also add a quick description. And you can also set up the duration for the particular service right here. And by scrolling down, you can also enter the price. So for example, if you would like to offer this particular service, for example, $100 per hour, you can do that. And if it is a case that you would like to offer the service via video conferencing, you can tap on add video conference in. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Then after tapping on save, you can continue editing the other services or you can add more services. After you're finished, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more. Scroll down and right where you see billing and payments, you're going to tap on payments. Then from here, I want you to tap on manage payment methods. And depending on the country you're located in, you're going to see different payment options. For example, I can connect Tilopay and PayPal. And if I were to tap on see more payment option, I can also connect 
payment wall. But if you were to change the location, for example, if I were to tap on change, and let's say I were to change the location to Canada, you will now realize that I'm provided with a new set of payment methods that I can offer my customers, as you can see right here. And also if I were to tap on see more payment option, you can see them right there. And by the way, after you have set, it, set up your payment methods, you will need to go onto the paid plan on Wix to accept payments using their platform. But their paid plan is quite affordable as it starts off at $17 per month. After you're finished, you're going to scroll back up and you're going to tap on set up. Then from here, you're going to go over to the right hand menu option and tap on design site. After selecting design site, I want you to tap on pick a template. Then from here, you can see the different templates that Wix recommends. And one of the beautiful things about Wix is it provides you with numerous template options that makes it easy for a complete beginner to create a website as all you'll need to do is simply edit one of these templates and your website will look professional. So let's say for example, once on this page you could tap in the box right here and provide some information. Then tap on generate site text and the Wix AI will compose content that can be added to your website. If you don't want to do that, you can tap on the X to close the pop up. Then tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. After selecting the plus 50%, from here you can see how our website looks at the moment. So this is how it looks right here. And to start editing any section, you can simply hover over the section and you're going to see the quick edit option. So for example, right here, you can see quick edit in the top left hand corner. If you wanted to change the background image or color, you can do that. You can also change the phone number by tapping right where you see call now. We could change the phone number right there if we wanted to, as you can see right here. Then you could also change the background image for this section by simply tapping on the section. You could change the image and you can also change the text for each section as you can see right there. And it is the same concept going right through with your website. You will be able to edit any section by simply hovering over the section then tapping on the particular section that you would like to edit. And to view all the pages on your website And to view all the pages on your website, you're going to tap on home in the top left hand corner. Then you can see the pages right here. So let's say for example, we wanted to view the book online page. We could simply tap on book online. Then you can see the services page right there, the services that we offer. You can see them right there and our client will be able to tap on them. If it is a case you'd like to add something to our, web, to our website that you don't see, so let's say for example text or image, you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner that says add elements. Then from there you could drag the text, you can add buttons, you can add video, anything at all that you would like to add to the website, you can do that from the top left hand corner. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner then you are going to tap on publish for your website to go live. And that's it. So I've tapped on preview so you can see how it looks. So you can see right here, this is our services page. You can view all our pages. You can see them right there. Once it is to your liking, you'll simply tap on publish and your website will now be live. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.